I'll be representing the gay community. I will be the first openly lesbian participant in this pageant. Janelle Hutchison made history when she entered the Miss Long Beach beauty pageant. While some might have avoided this kind of scrutiny or entered and kept their sexual preference a secret, Janelle is proud that she entered and proud of who she is. And Janelle is here with us on The Filter. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Long Beach, a diverse community, but at any point, were you concerned about what people might say? You know, for me, it's just the fact that I just have always been myself. And, and yeah, I guess that was kind of in the back of my mind. But once again, I guess if you're going to do something and you're going to do something, I guess, on this level, you, you really have no choice but to really stay true to who you are. So it's safe to say you consider yourself one of the girls, right? Yes. Do you think the other girls considered you one of them? I know they did. I, I really felt that behind the scenes at the Miss Long Beach pageant. Um, when I got there, I got nothing but love, nothing but support. And it was just really nice to, to be accepted in that way. Did you enter to win this, or did you enter to make a statement? I entered this to win it. I wanted that sash and that crown. But I've got to hand it to the young ladies that won, my, my peers on stage with me. They absolutely deserved that crown and that sash. But were people during the competition at all, did they indicate, <clears throat> Did they were they outspoken? Did they say, yeah, but she's a lesbian? No, never. Never. It never, never came up. It was it not even an even issue. It never came up, no. Were you surprised? You know, I was a little taken back by it, if anything. I mean, it, it really, honestly, it warmed my heart just to, to feel that from them. During the traditional swimsuit competition, you wore handmade boy shorts and a tank top, a look out of the 1930s. Why'd you do that? Well, I, I honestly, I really love that whole striped look. I'm, I'm kind of all over the chart with that sort of like Tim Burton sort of feel, I guess. And... And I just really enjoyed the 1930s, uh, just wanted to captivate that era and represent it, too. So, But walking out there like that, you had to figure, okay, everybody else is dressed differently <laughs> here. I don't know if this is going to do me a lot of good. You know, there was a moment when everyone was putting on their swimsuits and we all walked out of the dressing rooms and I kind of took a look around and went, all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then during the evening gown competition, you wore a tuxedo. Yes. Why? Well, because that's just how I feel comfortable, and that would be what I would honestly wear to anything formal. So it was just me being me. How do you think the audience reacted to you? Did they react as if you were a competitor, giving it your best shot, <laughs> or did they react as if you were someone up there trying to just make a statement? No, they absolutely loved it. They loved it, and it was just a really cool experience. I mean, just looking around the room and just seeing all of these eyes watching and just seeing their eyes light up, you know, as I'm, the scariest part was walking down that runway. And every time when I walked down that runway, I looked over and looked straight ahead at the judges and just to see their faces just light up, their eyes get so big, you know, it was just, they were really excited for what I was doing. And, and I sensed that from the crowd, the young ladies up there on stage with me, uh, from the judges, just everybody. It was a really cool, fun moment for myself. You gave it your best shot. You stepped up. You did it. You didn't win. My question no. to you, what did you learn from this experience and what do you hope others take away from it? Well, I learned that, I guess, an ironic kind of way here, you know, putting yourself into someone else's shoes, I guess, you know, and, and never being a, a pageant type person myself or and even honestly being a skeptic and someone against them by putting myself in that vulnerable place to go on stage and to see just how much guts it really does take to get up there and to talk on that microphone and to be who you are throughout it all and all of that pressure i have got so much respect for these young ladies and i believe because of what you did a lot of people have an awful lot of respect for you well i think that's awesome thank you <laughs> janelle thanks so much for being here thank you <laughs>